Hi, I'm Paris, and if you're looking for a gift for an older person, you can't go wrong with something that keeps them warm. Now, last winter I bought for my father this little portable rechargeable hand warmer. The problem was it was fairly small, and he would put it places and lose track of it. So this year I saw on one of the top 100 gift ideas is a portable hand charger that comes with a wrist strap so you don't lose it. Epic review guys. This is the Carry by Aura Stone. Very lightweight rechargeable hand warmer and you can see the pattern on it here matches the pattern of the box that it comes in. So it's very nice presentation to give us a gift. They come in a variety of designs and it goes for a little over $20. I'll link to it down below this video if you'd like to find out more. Now according to the specs here on the box and what I read in the reviews, you have continuous heat for about three hours from this. It's small and lightweight so that's all the battery can store and it takes about three hours to charge it up. Well let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, that's nice and it is tiny. Along with the heater and the attached strap, there are instructions and a charging cable. Rather short cable. This end is standard USB. The part that plugs into the device is micro USB. So it is a little slower to charge, but maybe you already have one of these around to charge your phone or your Kindle. So you can just use that cable and that charger block. This doesn't come with the charging block. I really like the look and the feel of this. On this side, you've got your charging port and this corner right here is actually a light. So this functions as a flashlight as well. Now the strap I was thinking was going to be cloth, but it's actually silicone. It is a little bit stretchy. Let's see how easy it is to put on. Okay. Yeah, it goes on a little easier on a smaller wrist, I think. But once you've got it on the wrist, man, that is the perfect size and location for holding on to it for hand warming. For one hand or for two. And when you let go of it, it doesn't leave you. This must be the power button. A short press should turn on the light. Oh yeah, there we go. Another short press to turn that off. And then a long press is what turns on the heating feature. Long press. Okay, green means it's heating up and it takes two minutes to reach full temperature. Full temperature is 107 degrees Fahrenheit. So nice and warm, but not too hot. It's only been about 15 seconds, but mm, I can feel it. Getting warm quick. I have my thermometer here. Let's see how it's doing. The room, uh, the wall temperature, the desk temperature here about, a, about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So this should heat up to 30 degrees above that. 104. Man, that was fast. Okay. Let's see. That is warm. Let's see after a minute what temperature it's up to. All right. It's been about a minute. It's Definitely warm. Let's see the temperature now. 108. Okay, how about the back? 106. Well, that was pretty quick. It warmed up to right about 107, and I would say in about a minute. Oh, now the light just flashed, I noticed. Oh, it's flashing. Okay, that must tell you that it's at temperature, so if you were waiting for it to warm up, it's now warmed up, and you can get on with warming your hands. I noticed some parts of this seem to be warmer than 107, and so using this thermometer in different parts of it, I'm getting a 110, a 113, a 109, the sides, a little cooler, 106. So some parts of this are above 107 if you're really concerned with the temperature. I'm guessing that's closer to where the heating element is inside of this, and then further away it's a little bit cooler. So overall, it's going to give you 107. Again, fully charged, you should get about three hours with this. To turn it off, just press and long hold the button again, and it should cool down. I did read on some of the reviews that people forget and they just quick press it and put it in their pocket or wherever they want the warm. Yeah, I can see my father doing that and he's gonna call me and say, how long has this light gotta be on before this thing warms up? Now it's good timing because we just had our first cold front of the season come through here in Austin, Texas. So tomorrow morning it should be in the 50s. I'm going to go out for a walk with this and record. Oh, it's cooling down pretty fast. I'm going to have it fully charged. I'll record my impressions of it. Good morning. First thing, taking my walk down in the park. <laughs> Trying not to trip over any roots while I'm walking along here. Got my hand warmer and it's in the upper 50s right now. Let me get this turned on without turning the light on. I showed it to other people in the family and they said, yeah, for grandpa that might be 
a bit of an issue. He's going to turn that light on and think the heat's coming on. Okay, got the green light here. And I'm curious today about a couple things. One is if I'm walking with this in my hand, the material on it, I guess it's some kind of a plastic, but it's it's got a little bit of texture to it. I want to know if it's going to make my hand sweat. Also, um, if I put it in the pocket, not on the strap, is it is it going to warm up the inside of the pocket enough that if I just have my hand in there too, but not holding this, will it warm it up? Okay, I can already feel the warmth starting up. So I've been walking along for several minutes with this held tightly in my hand, low humidity out, and again, the upper 50s, I guess. So I'm not sweating, but my hand inside it, yeah, it is getting sweaty. So that is one issue if you're gonna hold it tight is because of the material, there's no airflow between your skin and this. So you are going to get sweaty. Time to put this in the pocket and walk along for a few minutes just with my hands kind of balled up next to it, see if it'll keep my hand warm. So with my hand here in the pocket against the hand warmer, it stays fairly warm. It doesn't fill up the whole pocket with heat, I would say. And again, it's only in the upper 50s today. So when it's down below freezing with a 20 mile an hour wind, might push this a little to keep your hand warm in the pocket. But overall, I really like this carry hand warmer. I think it's a great gift for my father, for any older person trying to keep those hands warm around the house. The nice thing is this strap to put on the wrist so you don't set it, some, set it down somewhere and lose it. I would say the downsides are the fact that you can turn the light on if you quick press the button. Also, I would like a little fabric pouch around it, something thin so it doesn't block the heat, but so that you don't sweat if you're holding on to this as you're going outside when it's cold. But for just over 20 bucks for a rechargeable hand warmer, I really like it. If you think it's only going to warm up the one hand, well, for that price, you can buy two. You can find out more about the Carry rechargeable hand warmer at the link down below this video. And I'll see you with hands that are not quite so cold, but a heart that's just as warm on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, gives it a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our video.